Hi everybody and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 9th of September 2019. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Gay Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. As you can see, I do these daily tarot readings every day and it is such a grounding practice. So if you really struggle with things like meditation or connecting to the higher self, if you're practical like me, doing something like the tarot reading every day, where you can then interpret symbols and come up with meaning from the higher realms as an intuitive reader, take my course on the website. It's really cheap at £17, but it's a great way to kind of ground yourself in a practice. And you can see that... I do this every day very easily. It's doable, you know? You can make time to do a reading every day. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Sun. And then we've got the Youth of Swords. So, let's see. He is crying over these three cups that have broken and he's still got two cups there in the kitchen so he's not totally out but obviously he's upset because this has all gone bust and something emotionally makes you feel like uh something is broken i feel alone or i feel like i don't really feel so confident in myself i feel like i'm being hard done by things are tough I don't have the freedom that I would like to have. And the perspective is really on loss and what you don't have, what you haven't achieved. And it's kind of a, a, a sad perspective to kind of look at your life from. It's, it's not correct. Instead of looking at what has failed, look at what you've still got in your life and try and and simply sweep this up and not put too much too much uh, thinking or feeling into it cups represent water emotion so you may feel emotionally somewhat under pressure or like things aren't going right and that's going to make you feel sad the solution to the problem is to enlist help and I know it's they're laying bricks, they're not fixing cups, but they might as well be. The answer is to ask for help from a loved one, from a friend, from a partner, and to say, this is broken, I can't fix it myself, please help me fix it. You know, there are certain things in life which we can handle and there are certain things in life which really just are beyond us. And I think everyone has a breaking point. Um, for some people, it's uh, going into a hospital. They need someone there by their side, like their husband or a sister or a family member, because they're just terrified of the hospital. For other people, it's receiving letters and paying bills and filling out forms. It's just something that puts an enormous amount of pressure on them. And each one of us has our own little thing, which we really don't enjoy doing and which really becomes worse and worse and worse each time we have to do it because we just feel like we're not making progress and this is something we're not good at. So instead of dwelling on that and creating that reality of I am not good at keeping cups in a good state, I keep breaking them. Instead of blaming yourself for what's not right, why are you feeling like this again? Oh my God, you're always down. You're always depressed. Why is it that you always feel terrible? Can't you just be happy for once? Like if you've got that voice in your head, then immediately get rid of that voice Instead, listen to your higher self and that's going to guide you into saying, use your physical energy to ask someone for help. This is an opportunity to not only fix the, car, the cups, but to work together on fixing something. They're fixing a wall here and by working together, you build a relationship 
and you become closer. To become one, <laughs> if I could sing. And um, that's what I would be singing right now. So it's it's really about don't do any, everything by yourself. Don't take things so seriously. Don't cry over spilled milk. Instead, use it as an opportunity to get someone to come over and help you. And you will then learn how to deal with those situations because you observe the other person doing it. Which is um, kind of echoed in the Youth of Swords here because the Youth of Swords is a court card. You, the Youth is like the page. Then we have the Knights and then the Kings and Queens. And a Youth of Swords is just learning about how to communicate and how to exchange information properly. So he's got this sword on his lapel there is it a lip no his is that pocket hey yeah yeah that tish the that pocket on his blazer he's working with com with it so sending emails and media and getting information across and he's just learning how to do that so asking for help is something that isn't going to come easily. And this reading is particularly for the ones watching, you guys watching, who find it difficult to reach out for help and to say, I need some support here. Yeah, because as some of us are trained to be independent to such an extent that we are just not used to asking for help and for other people to make space and time for us free of charge to just help us. You know, not everyone expects that as a, as a given. And look at the people in your life who expect loads of things from you as a given and who don't really appreciate you back. This is another day where you can identify you know, what you're doing and learn from it and then make decisions based on something else, based on the experience and based on the things that you learn about other people today. So there's a great opportunity for growth in terms of personal development and being able to tackle problems that you haven't been able to tackle before. You develop on an intellectual and spiritual level and there's also the opportunity for you to connect and to take something tragic and to turn it into a magical romantic connection by reaching out and asking for help. And you'll still learn from that process of working with someone else and be willing to learn new things today. Be teachable. And when I say be teachable, I mean, take the cotton wool out of your ears and put it in your mouth and instead of teaching everyone else and having the loudest opinions and knowing the way to do it just sit back and listen to how other people would do it and follow instructions and learn a different perspective because you can learn a perspective that's going to make you see life completely differently I've met a couple of people in my life who have looked at certain circumstances which I would have handled in a completely specific way. I've observed other people handle those situations in a completely different way that I could have never imagined. And in some cases, their way has been much better. So what I've done in life is I've then adopted their way of doing those things to help myself make life easier. So it's a day to really grow and to learn. And there's the opportunity for a partnership or love or romance to come in on top of that. And it's an extra bonus. That's actually a nice trick that we need to learn for life to try and see not only see the silver lining in every problem, but to try and transform our problems into something fabulous. So flat tire. Turn it into an opportunity to flirt with the cute AA guy <laughs> who you call out to fix the flat tire. I don't know. I'm just saying if we did that, if we lived with that mindset again, 
that anything negative that happens to us, we can transform and use to our advantage, then we'd really be living the best life possible. And that's what we're all aiming for, but it's easier said than done. So today you'll feel powerful, but you'll feel even more powerful if you ask for help and you'll learn and grow and develop. 19 and one, we, because this is a court card, it counts as one, is 20. And 20 and 5 is 25, 2 and 5 is 7, 7 is mind and creativity in numerology. So it's all about changing your mind, changing your perspective and seeing things differently so that you can move on, you can be happy, you can let go of the drama, let go of the negative things, get to work to fixing things and also get to work... At, get started on a new beginning, a new type of work, typing, writing, expressing your ideas. Because we see here, these two fixing what has gone wrong, but then the youth of sword is kind of added on, because these two could make up the reading themselves. But he's tacked on on the other side of this, which means that from this experience that you have today and that you learn from, Something else comes out of that, grows out of that, and it may be that you write a blog about it or a book, or it might be the Eureka Epiphany moment that you need to get started on this project that you would have never thought of otherwise. So have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please go to my website. It's gregorysscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology. So if you have any questions, I can answer those. Have a wonderful day. If you like these videos, then please click the subscribe button and share the video online. And I will speak to you tomorrow.